My name is Chris Lonis. I am the uh, Assistant General Manager in charge of Production and Entertainment. And I am a graduate of Marquette University and I hail from Osceola, Wisconsin. Alright Chris, we're going to start with some of your favorites. Food. Steak from Murray's Steakhouse in Minneapolis. What side? Macaroni and cheese. Alright. Movie. Forrest Gump. TV show. Dexter. Actor or actress or both? Tom Hanks. Sports team, other than the Loons. Uh, Marquette Gold Eagles. Favorite athletes? Kevin Garnett. Favorite sport to play? Basketball slash golf. Favorite sport to watch? Basketball. Favorite road city you visited because of your job here with the Loons? Road city? It doesn't necessarily have to be a road city in the Midwest League, but a road city of a minor league team that you visited because of your job. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Alright. Favorite vacation spot? Las Vegas. Favorite part of Midland? Dow Diamond. Non-athletic hobby? I do picture logic puzzles while I watch TV at night. Favorite book? The BFG by Roald Dahl. Right, role model? My dad. Proudest athletic moment? Uh, not many. I shot a 39 on the front nine of Crooked Creek Golf Course in my junior high school. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Proudest non-sports accomplishment? Getting married. To the wonderful Linda Lonis. Best person in the whole world. Most embarrassing athletic moment? Uh, morning basketball in like 6th or 7th grade. I tripped over the foul line <laughs> and just messed myself up bad. It was awful. Just And nobody even was close enough to even pretend somebody touched me. <laughs> Most embarrassing moment with your job here controlling in-game entertainment? Uh, the computer that I use to on the scoreboard has a there's two different situations essentially you're putting graphics up on the video board at any given time and then you can also be editing graphics so we might say welcome Joe and Susie from Phoenix tonight and I kind of do both of those things at the same time and there is a hotkey for the rally camel animation which is world famous around here obviously and if you're not clicked in the correct window when you're doing those two things you can actually influence the wrong window and I thought I was editing a graphic and by pure coincidence, that name that I was typing in had the same letter that corresponds to the Rally Camel graphic hotkey two in a row. So without realizing it, I had clicked in the wrong window and had clicked button, button, and in the middle of a commercial during the game, up went the Rally Camel at the worst possible time. It was <laughs> that was like the worst thing that's ever happened. Now everyone feels like they can request the Rally Camel at any given time during the game. Exactly. Yes. Uh, proudest accomplishment as far as in-game entertainment is concerned. Uh, 2009, we were named the, I think it was 2009 or 2010, we won the award for Best Minor League Video Show uh, for the from the IDEA Conference and the Golden Matrix Award. As members of my tribe would say, positive. Hidden talent. I'm pretty open with all my talents. There are <laughs> many of them. Uh, I can juggle. And I can... I'm excellent at Minesweeper. Now, Phil Collins just came on. What are your thoughts on Phil Collins and this song in particular? I've always uh, been very, very impressed by the ability to drum and sing at the same time. Phil Collins and this on song it. is awesome. It is a great song. Something people don't know about you. I'm terrified of bees and spiders. Now, we have a pregame superstition slash ritual where I come over and we exchange fish pounds and pleasantries. Do you have any personal superstitions before a game? Uh, I usually, I have a Teddy Roosevelt bobblehead next to me, so I usually address him and say hello um, every day. And then I have certain times within the reads that Jerry's making that I hit certain buttons, and that's really it. I don't like to uh, mess with that just because it feels right. Alright, complete the statement. If I had a billion dollars, I would? 
quit my job, buy a minor league baseball team, hire all my friends and run it into the ground. <laughs> if I could see anyone in concert, I would see. Uh, Boston, if I could go back in time, I'd see Boston with uh, Brad Delp still singing. And now I wish Hootie and the Blowfish would get back together and go on tour. If I could take any celebrity out on a date with my wife's permission, I would take. Either Kaylee Cuoco or Michelle Pete. And I would take her where? Bushies and Midland. If I could invite any three people to dinner, dead or alive, I would invite Steve Jobs. Um, my grandpa. And probably. Bob Euchre. Now, Bob Euchre, not Harry Doyle. Correct. Okay. The real person. <laughs> when I'm done working at, with the loons, when I retire from work, just period, when you retire, maybe you have a billion dollars, but what would you like to do? I would like to be the audio producer for a baseball team. Okay. If I won a million dollars tomorrow, I would come back and be the audio person for whatever team my job. Okay. Teammate identification. So... Anybody from the Loons or ESPN staff is eligible, and I guess uh, anyone from the MBF family. Nicest. Uh, recently departed Linda Lotus. Class clown. Jerry O'Donnell. Person that tries to be funny but really isn't. Jerry O'Donnell. No, that's a lie. Jerry really is funny. Um, Jerry O'Donnell. <laughs> the person you'd most want backing you up in a fight. Matt McQuaid. Yeah, he's, he's sweeping that category. Person who acts the toughest but wouldn't harm a fly. Probably me. <laughs> Athlete. Scott Little. Hardest worker. Uh, combo Jerry O'Donnell and probably Matt McQuaid. Smartest. Paul Barbo. This has been Inside the Dugout with Chris Lonis.